Hey everybody, welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel. And in this video, we're going to be doing a tutorial and review as well as a demo of the Vista Social uh, social media management tool that is currently available on AppSumo at a lifetime deal. This is where you're going to be able to manage your social media publishing, you can uh, your engagement, your analytics, and a whole lot more. Currently, this is a brand new product that just hit the marketplace, and we definitely want to take a look at it, so that way you can get all the details on this particular product. You're going to be able, of course, to manage your posts from all your social media platforms, etc., and that's something that you, of course, if you are not familiar with it's something you're definitely going to need at some point in time in your business if you're doing any type of social media posting um, so you're going to be able to create engage and you know really use this as a what I tell people a lot of times, you guys are going to be able to use this as a marketing tool because this should be able to help you increase your social enga and social engagement and also reach out to more people on a more consistent basis. Okay, now this uh, currently has some integrations. You've got Canva, Dropbox, Google, OneDrive, as well as Zapier. Now, while why is this important? Because you guys are able to sort of integrate things that you're currently using in your business and really make sure that you're able to maximize it. Usage. Also, you have a C name integration as well. <clears throat> so, if you're looking to maybe use this and you know put this under your own domain, you may be able to have that option here as well for yourself. Okay, so that's also an option. Now, you've got uh, it's packed with Chat GPT, so you can generate engaging social media copy. You guys will be able to do that as well. Now, you guys know I use a lot of these tools, and I have a lot of these tools, and these are the things that I would tell you that are most important for you if you are going to use this and to make a difference as far as your social media engagement. So you can get fact check stats as well, uh, which is really cool because you guys know anytime you're dealing with AI, uh, the more you're able to, you know, get updated information and good accurate information it makes it very very good for you okay now this comes with an AI assistant that can actually translate your content as well so this is pretty cool so you can use this for yourself as far as translating it as well as whooping, whipping out a whole lot of social media content as well. You can schedule your posts for optimum times. So if you're looking to schedule your posts for a specific time, um, you'll be able to do that as well. Um, you'll be able to schedule posts, uh, create your own designs within those posts, and that's always unique as well. And I'm going to be having some videos uh, called "You" in my "You Can Make It" series, and my "You Can Make It" series is going to show you guys how to create posts and swipe files and some other things. So just stick around the channel. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. So and hit the bell notification so that when you get updated on all those upcoming videos. Now this week we're going to have a brand new video coming out on a Kateb tutorial. I'm going to walk you guys through a workflow with that so make sure that you guys are watching that as well. Um, so we'll be looking out for that coming up in the next couple of days. You're going to be able to manage all your comments, your messages, and your mentions. You're going to be able to delegate messages to specific team members so you can even if you can run your entire team through this as well, which is really cool. And here's the thing, guys. A lot of these social media tools, even though we've had some of these tools in the past, they're upgrading these tools and they're making a lot of other things available within those tools. And that's most certainly going to make it awesome for us to be able to use it and to be able to do the things that we need to do. So it's pretty cool and you're going to be able to do that. It's fully customizable. You can get fully automated reports in this and you can analyze and cross-channel performance as well. So that's pretty good. And that includes Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Reddit, and some other stuff as well. All right. Now, you guys know anytime I do these reviews, I like to get into the plans and the features. So let's get into the plans and the features here. You're going to have lifetime access to Vista Social, all future Pro 1, a Tier 1 and Tier 2, or Pro 3, uh, Tier 3 and 4 plan updates. If the plan name changes, the deal will be mapped to the new plan name with accompanying updates. You've got no codes, no stack, and just choose the plan that you like, and you're going to be able to use it. You're going to be able to act. You have to activate your license within 60 days of purchase, and you have the ability to upgrade or downgrade between those four tiers. Okay, and it's also GDPR compliant as well. Now, what is this going to get for you? This is going to get for you 
a unlimited post calendar view. You're going to be able to bulk schedule. You're going to have a link shortener in there for you as well. For those of you that have really long links, you do not yet have a link shortener. It's going to be able to do that for you. You're going to have a Canva integration, social media reports, competitor reports, export reports, social inbox, which is really good so that you can eliminate having to go to multiple places, you know, to read all of your social media stuff. That's really good. You got a social listening, uh, review monitoring, user permission and roles, and all current and future integrations like uh, Zapier, Drop, uh, Dropbox, Canva, and more. You know, everybody's always so familiar with Canva, but I'd like to see a lot of these tools sort of integrate, uh, integrate um, Insta. Um, what is it, Vista Create as well, because Vista Create is just as popular as Canva, and I'm not sure why um, a lot of these aren't really sort of integrating that with them as well. <clears throat> Now, here's what you're going to get in license tier number one. You're going to get uh, all pro features, all current and future social networks, three users, and 10 social accounts. I like the fact that they're starting off with 10 social accounts. I think that's really good. Now, in license tier two, uh, which is for 100 bucks, you guys are going to get 10 users and 25 social accounts, all right? So what's happening here is you're, getting, you're updating your users and your accounts here. Now, here's where it comes into the coup de gras here. You're going to get 50 social accounts. You're going to get unlimited users. You're going to get the AI uh, chat GPT assistant with that. You're going to get custom branded reports. So if you're doing this for clients, if you're running a client's website, you'll be able to generate some reports for that as well as custom fields, okay? So if you do not have a managing social media tool yet, I'm going to recommend you start off with license tier two. And the reason why, just based on my experience, most of the social media accounts that you have are going to eat up your, your social accounts here. So if you've got one Instagram or two Instagrams, those are all going to count towards one social media account. So you're going to need to have multiple accounts on that, especially if you're looking to do that, um, you know, in this particular instance. So just make sure that you guys keep, uh, you know, keep aware of that. All right. So now what we're going to do at this point, let's go ahead and get into the demo and we're going to walk you through at this particular point, uh, the Vista social, uh, social media and scheduling tools. So that way you can see it from the inside. Okay guys, when you first initially log into the Vista social account, you're going to be met with this uh, greeting box here. It's gonna say, welcome to Vista social. And then you're going to have to start connecting all of your social media accounts. Okay, so this is how you're gonna start off with Vista social and be able to get this part process for yourself. So that way you'll have it and you'll be able to connect all of the things that you need to connect, okay? So let's get started with that. All right, what you're going to do, of course, is you're going to connect all of your social media accounts. I went ahead, uh, for the sake of this review, to just go ahead and get us in to our Facebook. And what you're going to do, um, you're going to set up your profiles. Once you set up your profiles, then you're going to get a screen that looks like this. And then you can hit Create, and it's going to allow you to create a new post, okay? Um, so you can select the profile that you're going to use or that you're going to post on and let me just put it here um, and then you can do that you're going to write out your content here and you're going to put whatever you want hello everybody i am here okay and you can look for hashtags and things like that you can search for hashtags here um, you can do all sorts of things here you got your at symbol you can add a video you can add a picture uh, so that you can do that as well. You can manage any sort of labels uh, that you've made on there as well. And then you're going to be able to see what it looks like over here <laughs> just so that you can see. And then you can even put your uh, first comment here uh, in the chip in the chat, I guess, down below. That's what I meant to say. You can auto publish it. Um, you can send a reminder location. 
Um, you can do all of this, put in a relationship status. Why I don't know why that's important, but maybe that's if you're doing some type of dating website or something like that. Um, but up at the top, you have all of the things that you're going to do, like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest, TikTok. All of that's going to be at the very top for you. Now, I, I probably should have turned off my uh, my setting for this. Um, so that way it won't be messing with my... Uh, my review here. Okay, now you can down below, you can have save as draft, you can add it to the queue, you can schedule it, or you can publish it now. If you schedule it, of course, that's going to give you the option of actually scheduling the post, or you can hit the publish now. Okay, so that's what you can do as far as that's concerned. All right, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and yes, I'm sure. All right, now this is going to give you, if you're having any sort of uh, profile problems, any rejected posts, any failed posts, if you're su suffering from any billing issues whatsoever, if you, uh, it's going to list for you your published post, your schedule post, and your draft post, okay? Now, you can also hear, which is what I love with any type of social media tool, is that you can have a scheduler that you can see the, the social media posts that you have made, okay? So this is going to change your view um, to weekly, daily. It's going to help you navigate through the range there and the months. It's also going to put your time there as well. You can set your filters here over here, so that way that's done for you as well. And if you want to export the publishing calendar to a PDF, you can do that as well. And you can hit this button if you're going to create, all right? So that's pretty much how that works. And I love tools that have social media calendars in them because the tools that normally have these social media calendars are going to most certainly help you be able to plan properly, okay? Now, here's where you're going to have all of your inbox messages if you've got them. Um, I do have some in here, and I should probably be very careful because I don't want to uh, uh, use these, but I don't want to show these people's messages. Um, profile group and profile selector because you can do that, of course. Um, all of the messages that are unread, you can even search for messages here. And this is going to leave you to all of the sample type messages that you can have inside of your, your inbox, okay? And then it's also going to give you the conversation piece on the side here so you can actually see it in a bigger view. And, of course, that's what you want with any sort of social media tool. That's really, really cool. All right. And so you're going to be able to reply to folks as well. Um, you'll be able to hit your reply or you could just make a note because it also has a note uh, option down there as well. OK, now. Um, this is the Vista listening. Here you can create listeners that will monitor your network for conversation containing to certain specific keywords. So if there's certain keywords that come up, you've got certain people that will be listening and that can get no, a notification in regards to something that came, comes up. So let's say you have a team of people, and I'm just finishing this up. If you have a team of people and you need to put them on to a specific message or a list of messages or a train of messages, you'll be able to do that inside of here, okay? So this also has a review section. Um, so if you're working with a a review page or something like that or a business page, you'll be able to manage the reviews and you'll he see a list of names of the person, the network, where it's from and the rating of that review. And you can just reply to that person right from in here as well. Okay, so that's pretty cool as well. You can pin some of your tasks if you've got certain tasks that you need to do. You can pin those tasks. You can open your priority tasks, your closed tasks or all the tasks that you have. You can do that as well. Um, let me see here because I want to show you guys something else here. Oh, you can also generate your reports from here. So if you're dealing with a brand account or you have multiple businesses that you're working with, guys, you'll be able to do that and you can do that from here as well. And that's where you would put all that in and you would switch your brand and the brand that you're actually you know, working on at that particular time in order to generate the post. You can reload your calendar and you can give them a calendar view of the months or the times that you're talking about. So it's just like in the other screen that I just showed you. So it's going to do that for you as well. Now, what I like so far about this as well is the new, um, the new post, uh, which is really, really cool. You can do any sort of new post. And I like the way that it's giving you the option of putting the first comment in there as well. And you can even add an additional comment to it, which I think is a really cool tool. That's, this is really cool. 
um, in, in giving you that ability to do that. I think it's really, really cool. Okay. Now you also have, um, let me go here again. I want to show you something. You can get ideas here. And this is where you're going to be able to write your content ideas and you're going to be able to write them in there. Now, what I like about this is it's giving you the character counter down at the bottom. You know how if you have certain social media tools, if you go over the character counter, it doesn't tell you until after you've gone over. In this particular tool, you're going to be able to see if you've gone over. Like you know with Twitter, you only have 280 characters. So you can definitely do that as well. Now here you have the AI assistant where you can have help have the help of the AI assistant to help you create all sorts of things as well. And that's what's so honestly crazy about these new tools, because now you're going to be able to use AI with these, which everybody should be able to get a hold of their social media posting at this particular point. OK. All right. So you got your media here, your images, uh, your videos, your sounds, your document documents, everything is already here. You can add media, you can add video, you can add sounds, you can add a document if you want to upload it from your computer, your Google Drive, your Dropbox, your OneDrive. So everything is already located in here for you as well. Now what I'm looking for, let me see here. Um, if we say create, let me go back to create. Um, da 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 da. Um, bulk publishing, you can do bulk publishing as well. You can import from a CSV file, import from a blog, import from the latest news, import Instagram hashtag, in, import an Instagram user, and you can import images, videos, and documents as well, okay? So you guys can do that all from there. Now, what I was looking for, and hold on, let me see. Now, you also have something called the Create Smart Publisher. You can create a publishing type where you have trending news, uh, a specific blog. So if you want to bring in an RSS feed and, and just have it automatically post all of your upcoming blog posts, you can do that as well. You can set your country, your category, the time that you wanted to publish, how many times per day that you wanted to publish as well. If you want to filter out certain keywords or if you want to assign for a review, you can assign it to a certain person on the team who can review it. Um, th that's really good. You can leave the first comment here as well. You can auto publish it. And so you guys have a myriad of options here that you can use for this. So this is going to give you a awesome, awesome opportunity to publish your social media. OK, now, like I said, guys, this is available on AppSumo at a lifetime deal. So you can get the lifetime deal here. It starts off at $49 and you'll be able to use this tool in order for you to manage all of your social media. So if you don't have a social media tool and you're looking for one to help you manage your social media, this is a great tool in order to get you started. OK, now make sure that you hit the thumbs up on this. There'll be a link in the description below for you to grab this tool. And remember, I'll see you guys on the very next video.